So self-inquiry is the only real solution for the problem of ignorance. Ignorance is when you take yourself to be a separate body, mind entity. When you take yourself to be a person, we could say in common day expression. When you take yourself to be a person, when you take yourself to be this limited body, mind entity, then you believe you're living, you're an individual person living in a world of other people and other things. Then you think you are born and then you can grow old and you can die. This is a, a misunderstanding of the reality. It's like watching a movie and then thinking you're a character in the movie. You're not. Um, you are the self. But unless you discover that for yourself, it's just a theory. So the only way to discover it is by this one method. And it goes by different names. But the name that Ramana spoke about it was the path of self-inquiry. And this is the only way to end the um, end ignorance, end the illusion of suffering, end samsara. Samsara is this illusion of suffering. This illusion of being an individual that is born and dies and is reborn and dies again from birth to birth, from death to death. Suffering to suffering, pleasure, pain, pleasure, pain, pleasure, pain. Confusion, clarity, confusion, clarity. The only way out is self-inquiry or the same process that self-inquiry describes, um, maybe going by a different name. It's the only way. And self-inquiry, we can describe it in different ways, but the simplest, well, one of the ways is it's the search for the subject. The subject is you, what you actually are. You're sitting here, um, you're at this satsang, you're listening to me speaking right now, presumably. Uh, <laughs> maybe you are. And you can hear the words. Well, it's you that are hearing the words, let's say. So that is that you is the subject, the words are the objects that are appearing in your consciousness. In this case, they're auditory objects. They're things you can hear. You can, maybe you can see my face. That's a visual image, a visual object that you are seeing. So you're the subject that's seeing, that's perceiving, that's hearing. That's what you are. You know that. That's what you are. But what are you? In, if you're ignorant, you'll say, well, I'm the body-mind entity. That is I. And I, the body-mind, and am hearing, I'm listening. The eternal teachings, the true teachings, Ramana's teachings, but all the traditions that speak truth, they'll tell you this is not your real identity. There is something greater in you that is, let's say for now, listening. It is not the body, mind. You are pure consciousness or spirit, something formless unbounded, something that isn't born, something that isn't die, that, that doesn't die, so isn't subject to birth and death. We can call it eternal life if we want. Eternal means it's never born and it doesn't die. You see? And that's what you are. And in our ignorant state, the subject is kind of like a gateway or a portal to discovering that which, which we are. It's like a doorway. And if we walk through that doorway, we discover our true nature. It's the only way. All the other teachings are just to help us get to that doorway and walk through. So all that stuff I told you about, tamas, rajas, sattva, that's all maya. The, pur the purpose of getting to sattva is because when you're sattvic, 
that's when it's the easiest to open the door of the self or open the door of um, self inquiry. What is self inquiry? Self inquiry is to attend or abide as the subject, as what you are, and turn away from objects. And if you are able to do that, and when I say able to do that, well, everyone's able to do that. But it's like, will you do it? It's like, for example, um, say I say you have to walk five miles to the next village to go to the shops there. Maybe most of us on the call are able to do that. You're able to walk five miles to the next village and go to the shops. But will you do that? Are you interested in doing that? Are you motivated to do that? Maybe you can't be bothered. Maybe you do go to Amazon.com or whatever and buy something from Amazon. You won't go to the next, you won't bother walking five miles. So are you motivated to do it? What's going to motivate you to do it? Well, that's understanding the teachings, understanding the consequences of what happens if you don't do it. It's also having faith in Ramana or whichever guru you have that teaches this teaching. But unless you do that process, which is self-inquiry, You'll never end up at liberation. But the opposite is also true. Once you start that process, you can't go wrong because you are already the self. That's already what you are. And you cannot fail to discover what you are if there's a genuine desire to seek what you are. In fact, if you really are genuine and you're really interested, you'll find it with or without Ramana. But we're very lucky, I, I would say, because we have Ramana's teachings to guide us. He's given us a map. So you're only going to follow that map if you're interested in following the map. If you give the map to the treasure, of the, the map takes you to the treasure of the self. If you give this treasure map to somebody who's not interested in the treasure of the self, it doesn't matter how great the map is, it's not going to work. But if you are interested and you follow this path, you cannot fail. The directions are very simple. All you've got to do is try. If you um, look on Facebook, you'll see I've got a load of um, picture quotes in my photo section. And I think I've got a section on this side of Maharaj. So you can go to my Tom Das profile on Facebook and go to photos and go to albums and you'll see a whole load of photos and um, there are a load of quotes from this Sarva Dutta Maharaj. And one of, one of his quotes is, it's not by listening to my words that will create freedom, but it's by actually following them. It's not just by listening to me talk that's going to help you, but you have to follow the instruction I'm giving you. It's saying, here's the map. There's no good just looking at the map. You've got to walk the route that the map is indicating. Another of his quotes is, all you have to do is try. Keep on trying. Perseverance is key. Ramana said, um, what did he say? <laughs> he said, um, something about perseverance. He said, how do we know? This is, this is right. This is what he said. Let's come back to me now. <laughs> he said, um, what is the measure of progress on the path of self-inquiry? He said, the, the measure of progress is perseverance. Meaning if you are persevering on the path, that shows you're progressing. You might not feel, you may feel you're progressing, you may not, that's not the point, but you just carry on. It's like digging a well. You carry on digging, you're gonna find water. You know, that's the way it works. You can't go wrong. The water's there, the self's there, you just got to dig, you know? If you carry on digging in one spot, you're gonna find the water, it's gonna come. That's the analogy. 
So once you start self-inquiry, once you turn within, look to the look to see who's looking, look to the self, you'll find it. You cannot fail. It's because you're you are the self. 